Hey everybody, Stuart McAdam here, and one of the biggest challenges a lot of Facebook advertisers and marketers are facing right now is how to get more accurate information despite the Apple iOS 14 changes. Well, believe it or not, there's a simple hack you can use in order to get your information more accurate and up-to-date. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that today. Just before we get started, don't forget to smash that like button down below and leave a comment so we can keep the discussion going. With that said, let's get started. So it's no secret now that Apple smartphone users can now choose whether or not Facebook is tracking them across the internet. And one of the challenges this presents for Facebook marketers, particularly small businesses, is that Apple iPhone users are more likely to make purchases and be engaged shoppers. And this is now creating a massive garbage in, garbage out problem on the platform because people may see website purchases, they may see other conversion events happening, but they won't see any return on ad spend or any purchase value. And this is creating a massive problem between the information that is and the information that is actually there because it's using statistical modeling and guess what? Retargeting, unfortunately, has gotten a lot harder. And with a lot of people increasingly putting more value on privacy, you can expect to see other platforms such as Android begin to roll out privacy changes similar to that in the future. And one of the things that's really challenging people there is how do they actually keep accurate information? And it's very simple create a Facebook API and use your Zapier account and you can create one so easily to create a webhook with a Facebook API. And what that does at the core of things is it takes information from your website, it feeds it through to Facebook and it registers what the conversion event is. So say for example, someone makes a website purchase on your page. If you set up a Zap, the Zap will register that a purchase has been made. It will take that information, it will feed it through into the Facebook API, and it's very easy to connect it as one of the partners with a Facebook API and Zapier, and it will feed the information through into Facebook, whatever that conversion event was, whether it was a purchase, whether it was a download, and what the value you have placed on that is. So let's say, for example, someone purchased an item for $50. That information is going to go through onto your website. It's going to show up as one purchase for $50. And let's say you spent $5 to get that purchase. You will then be able to see how accurate that information is versus what you're being shown on Facebook. And the great thing about the API and Zapier is that it's a very simple easy to set up process. You just need to take um, a few tutorial videos. And I'll say right now, if this video gets to a thousand likes, I'll do a full tutorial on how to set this all up on Zapier and in the back end of Facebook as well. So make sure you like this video and also subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already. And don't forget, if it gets to a thousand likes on this video, I'll do a full tutorial and show you exactly how to do all of this step by step. So thanks very much for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.